Hello, this is Keith. Uh, I have the Charbroil uh, Big Easy Infrared Cooker, which is great. And the cooker does come with some instructions, but uh, I found, like a lot of other folks, you end up looking up recipes and how to do things on YouTube. So the, the Big Easy Cooker just uses a little bit of oil on the inside wall of the cooker, and you can put a little bit like on the turkey, whatever you're cooking, and it works great. So I've tried experimenting with other things, and uh, one of the things I wanted to try were ribs. You and barbecue is done low and slow. Uh, anyway, today's Saturday. I'm going to cook these ribs on Sunday. So here I got a nice little slab, baby back ribs, pork ribs. I'm going to set them there to thaw overnight, and then we're going to cook them in the infrared cooker tomorrow. Stay tuned. Okay, uh, so welcome back. It's Keith. It's day two of my ribs in my Big Easy uh, infrared uh, cooker. Uh, so, I got my ribs right here. I'm going to uh, get those uh, out of the packaging, uh, slice them in half and put some dry rub on them and then we'll be ready to start up the cooker. So, hang in. Okay, so here's a slab of ribs. I'm out of the plastic. These are looking pretty good. They're obviously completely thawed out. Let's take my meat cleaver. Right about there is good. Hit them in half. Boom. I got two smaller pieces of ribs. This is going to help them fit better in the cooker. Right here I got uh, a dry rub that I, I got from my mother-in-law uh, somewhere when she was out west. Uh, it's called Arizona Dreaming. Um, you can go ahead and make any kind of um, dry rub seasoning. Um, you know, typically people will do some cayenne, uh, some garlic in there. Um, I'm going to throw in some black pepper, but uh, this has got some uh, chili powder in there and um, I forget what, some paprika. People like paprika. Uh, you get that nice red color. So uh, that's it. I'm just kind of generous with this. Get it sort of rubbed in the meat pretty good. And that's your dry rub. I'm going to uh, continue giving these a little bit of seasoning and I'm going to chop a couple onions. Um, you'll see. We'll get some herbs and some other stuff going in there for flavor. So hang on. I like to throw a few sprigs of uh, rosemary in there just for a little extra flavor. Okay, so I have my, uh, my rack of ribs. Uh, chopped in half. I got two pretty well equal sections. I got my dry rub on the ribs. I took an onion and uh, sliced it up between the two, uh, two packages here. Uh, I also sliced up an apple and you just saw me chop some rosemary so it's all in there. I'm going to wrap these things up and uh, I'm going to get the cooker started. Hey, be smart, be efficient. I'm, uh, those are my two packages of ribs on the left but since I'm here I'm going to go ahead and throw in a baked potato and uh, that little package on the right is a pork tenderloin so yeah when you fire up that cooker go ahead and cook a bunch okay so we have started the cooker uh, gave the inside of the walls of the thing a little coat of peanut oil um, turn this on full heat um, you want to burn off all the excess oil and uh, all you need is about a tablespoon for the whole thing um, I have the cover on because it uh, if you own one of these things, you know it, it uh, holds in the heat, uh, drives the temperature up a little quicker. I just want to burn this stuff off um, and get the, all the food on. I got everything wrapped up in the little basket here in my lifter, uh, up glove, got to have one of those. Um, anyway, so once uh, all the oil has uh, fully burned off, uh, I'll drop this in. It's about 12 o'clock when we're starting and uh, be good for dinner. Okay, stuff is... Uh stopped smoking here so the uh, excess oil is burned off. I've got my ribs in the basket. Basket's been lowered. That stuff is starting to cook. Okay, this is the back of the cooker I'm showing you. Hopefully you can see the little blue flame in there. You now want to turn the cooker down as low as humanly possible and still have a flame. Um, low and slow is the is the term and uh, this can be cooking it as low as like 250 degrees uh, or even a little lower uh, so you want to turn that flame way down
Okay, we're checking in on our ribs and stuff. It's been about four hours. I uh, just pulled things out. They're coming along nicely. I uh, wrapped them back up, right back where they're at. Um, I also threw on uh, some extra sausage. They're uh, pre-cooked. They're just on there to heat them through, so I'll put them on for the last hour and a half, two hours, and uh, looking good. Okay. We're about five hours in. This is starting to smell really good. I'm leaving the cover on this um, because I'm going to cook this probably six hours and um, I, I'd really like to be cooking it for a little bit longer but the cover helps uh, keep more heat in at the top and hopefully they'll cook a little more evenly and uh, quickly but nevertheless I'm giving them six hours here. We'll see what we get. We're uh, again in about hour five. so. Stay Okay, so these just got pulled out of the cooker. They were in there about, just about six hours. And uh, I just poked at the bone here and you can see the meat just fell right off, which is exactly what you want. Meat just falling off the bone. There we go, ribs out of the charbroil. Uh, big easy infrared cooker.